Hi, my name is Mike Williams. I um, work here at the uh, University of Toronto for the Department of Astronomy and Astrophysics, and I take care of the telescopes and I run the planetarium as well. The planetarium is an inflatable planetarium that holds about 25 people. I actually arrived in two very large boxes at the end of August of 2010, so it's only been a very short six months or so that we've been using it. And so yeah, it was, it was a bit of a, a rush to get it all ready by September and actually have students coming through in September. Due to space requirements and budget, instead of buying an in-place planetarium, we bought an inflatable planetarium. Um, so this is a planetarium that's designed to actually be moved around to different locations. So the planetarium itself is a large inflatable structure that's held up with air pressure. And then in the center of the room there's a digital projector which projects the, uh, the star fields onto the, uh, onto the planetarium. One of the great things that planetariums can do is they can show the relationships between objects and, and how they fill space. One of the main things we use it for is to show how planets move and how the motions that you see in the sky relate to the motions in the solar system. We use it um, mainly for our undergraduate um, astronomy classes. Uh, the big class that we use it for is Astronomy 101 and 201. Uh, these are mainly um, art students and business students. Uh, so one of the big problems they have is trying to actually visualize a lot of what it, what's going on in astronomy. So we use the planetarium to give them another, another um, avenue to try to do that visualization. They get one session, but it's about 40 to 50 minutes, um, depending on when people start and things like that. So it essentially fits into one tutorial section. We can actually do many things. We can show them the orbits of the planets. So we do that especially in Astronomy 101, which deals mainly with the solar system. Uh, but Astronomy 201 actually takes them out of the solar system and so with the planetarium we can do that as well. Um, we can actually fly around the galaxy. We have a three-dimensional three model of the galaxy they can look at and then even zoom out and look at a lot of the known galaxies. I give a few of them but it's mainly given by a crew of TAs. So generally we have somewhere between about three and five TAs um, and between them they do about 50 shows a semester. So one of the great advantages of this software, which is called Uniview, is it's a, uh, live, a live presentation software. So as opposed to a lot of the digital domes that actually just use pre-canned uh, presentations, essentially they're showing movies onto a dome surface. We actually have software that lets us move around the, uh, the solar system and the universe in real time. So if someone asks, you know, what about Betelgeuse, we can actually fly to Betelgeuse and talk about Betelgeuse and things like that. So that's the great thing is we tend to tend to solicit a lot of input into the shows. And so the shows that they get are very much tailored to the group that's there. The other aspect of the planetarium is using it for outreach. Uh, so one of the main parts of that outreach is uh, the first Thursday of every month, the graduate students run a public tour night. And as part of the public tour night, they give uh, planetarium shows, which last about 10 minutes each. And they do four shows throughout the night. But then it's also used uh, for schools. Schools can book the planetarium and come in and have their classes sit through about a 40 minute to 50 minute presentation. And it'll, the presentation will be given by a graduate student, so an active researcher in astronomy. Uh, so they have a good chance to actually talk to a real astronomer. It's open to any school, and we can actually tailor the shows very specifically to what they've been talking about in class, or what the teachers haven't had a really good chance to tell the students.